Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this super pretty ruffle flower headband. So cute, really delicate. This is all with tulle and the half pearls. And this is on one of the nylon headbands that was kindly gifted to me by Nylon Headband UK. And I will link their um, shop in the description below, along with all the measurements. And we're going to be using obviously the headband and I also blue peated it a little bit and here's two I made earlier so that this video isn't incredibly long you're also going to need a couple of felt circles I buy mine pre-made from um, eBay or Amazon you can get a pack for not very much and I get the two and a half centimeter ones and I've got blue to match the headband and the tool and some white ones for the inner which is the backs here. There we go. Put them out of the way. And the tool that I'm using is from Heart Fabric Craft Supplies. And it's their sparkly winter tool in the pale blue. And it is two and a half inches wide. And buy it in a metre. And you want to fold it so that your silver side is this way up and the other thing that I do is to make sure it stays evenly folded in half is to take a couple of my clips or you can use dress pins whatever you've got available and just to make sure it's evenly in half and we haven't got a bit that's like really over on one side here and this is 40 centimeters long so it's three times 40 centimeters if you want them a bit more ruffled and a bit more full you could do 50 or 60 i wouldn't recommend anything less than 40 because they look really flat and uh, not as pretty as the the others so let's just move these slightly out of the way so they're not drawing a focus like i said make sure it's completely even and nicely folded in half and from above as normal you want to try and keep your stitches when you start this about a centimetre apart. Again, the more even your stitches are, the better the overall look of the ruffle will be. And again, if you want a fluffier version, do half centimetre stitches instead of centimetre. And again, that gives it a more full, tighter look so you can play around with the, like the actual ruffle build as well. But like I said, I'll try and make mine as even as I can. Like I said, just make sure it's still half. Move that clip out of the way. Keep going. And like I said, you do exactly the same for all three. You could actually do one or two or five. It's entirely up to you. I just like it with three because I think it looks pretty. And I like to do my last stitch. Going up. And then we're just going to take our thread. And we just pull that all the way through. And the easiest way to do these is take that excess from that side tight nice and tight move that out of the way and then just do the same again super super tight and I use extra strength Gutemann thread so that's why you can pull it like this and it still remains nice and strong and because I can't pronounce it and mispronounce it this is the one you're looking for and you want the extra strength or extra strong version just going to cut this side off make sure you don't cut into your tool because that would be silly and yes I warn you because I do do daft things like that to myself all of the time and this bit where we can see the knot is going to be the back where we attach our felt circle and the other thing I do is I put just a couple of stitches through Through the base there we go and just so I can be extra certain that that is nice and tight move that out of the way 
go it's a little bit flat looking at the moment but we don't worry about that too much at the second we'll fluff it up once we've done the rest so we're going to take our felt circle I remember on the side that we've just done the back stitch we're going to take our glued circle we're going to squish that down and place that on this side now another trick that I use and this is because previously I was getting my Gorilla Glue all over my hands and I was literally having to pick off bits of skin. So this is a trick that I've learned. This is just a standard pencil and all I've done is put a tiny, tiny drop of um, my glue gun glue at the end of this. And what I do is I've got my pearl. I do this on a plastic surface. This is obviously on the plastic of my pin lid squeeze out the teeniest tiny drop just as much as you need and i'm using the super glue gel from gorilla it's a really good one and then what i do is with my lighter lightly heat that so it's just a little bit tacky do it so you pearls on the end dip that in your glue so you've got just enough on there to coat the base of your half pearl Work out where you want it so it's nice and centred and push down really hard with your pencil and then because it's just your glue, well just glue gun glue, it peels off, doesn't affect your pearl anywhere, you haven't got your fingers dipped in super glue anywhere just put that out of the way until it's dried so you don't lean your elbow in or anything like that like I would and then what you do is obviously this is where we folded it in half you just want to take those halves pull them apart so that's the beginning of the other side so just find the edge again There you go. And just give them a little bit of a fluff so that all three look the same. And then obviously on your nylons, this is the inner and this is the outer. So we want to be gluing on the outer. Now what I like you to do is work out work out where you want your placement. And I'm just going to use clips just to hold it open a little bit we want to give it a little bit of stretch so we know how wide it's going to be on the baby baby's head so let's just hold it open a little bit and then we're going to have this one in the middle here and you want them quite close together so it has like a like plumped up effect so take your circle Watch your edges, you only want it on the circle. Hold your, fur, your headband open so it's like this. Place at this side. And then flip it over. And then you take your circle this side. A bit more glue. Yeah. And we cover the back of that with the felt circle that matches the colour of the tool and then I'm going to do my next one like I said just use that to open it a little bit I'm going to do my next one here so like I said it's quite close together but not too close glue try and center it and then like I said flip it open glue it on the headband use that blue felt circle to hide that Again, you want roughly the same distance from that middle one. So 
which will be about here and make sure you're gluing them all on the correct side and you haven't got one facing in and one facing out I've done that before as well waste of a headband but mistakes happen watch fingers so that one's gonna go there I'm gonna flip it over again bit more glue and cover up all the mess there we go we can get rid of our clips I just press down and make sure it's all nice and firm and then you get a super cute with your glue stringers as well there we go that's better so you get a 